Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can use ESLint uh, with uh, essentially Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. So the first thing first, what you want to do is install ESLint, which I've already done. And uh, once you have done that, you can go to the particular folder where you want to be, where your JavaScript is and you want to use the ESLint and do ESLint.init. So it's going to ask you some question about what you want in your init file. So I'm just going to uh, basically go in and select. I'm going to say I'm using ECMAScript 6, uh, using ES6 modules, yes, browser. Do you use common JS? No. Do you use JSX? No. Tab, tabs or spaces? I guess I, I usually just use uh, spaces. Double quotes for in Linux. And do you require semicolon in your JavaScript? And I say yes. And I like the JavaScript format for the file. And it's basically saying it's created that eslintrc.js. And uh, we can take a quick look as to what it is. And the file it is created has uh, essentially uh, this rules. It's using the browser, which is good. Uh, it's using ESLint recommended options and then it's got some of the specific rules we created. So let's just take a quick look and see how this uh, seems to uh, work on one of the files and let's just call it down.js is the file. So you can see here it's complaining that my namespace is not defined. Uh, so all you have to really do is add this as a global in your uh, ESLint RC JS file and uh, the rules to do that is pretty straightforward. You can say globals and you can add your globals here. So in this case, let me just add the uh, global that we were getting the problem with my namespace and I'm going to add that and see if it makes a difference. And uh, once you do that, you can say it should uh, essentially um, so it's complaining about the indentation and spaces, but uh, it's fixed the global problem. So what you can do is just click on format document and uh, four spaces, but found one tab. So you can get rid of that rule, which had to do with the indents and errors and tabs. So for example, I can get rid of that because in this case, I don't want to be bothered with that. So you can see that problems has gone away. Now it's complaining that my strings are essentially uh, single coded as, uh, as opposed to being double coded. And you can kind of get rid of that pretty easily as well. So if you can go, uh, go into that and change the codes to single, for example. And uh, it basically takes care of those problems. And uh, here it's complaining that console is uh, being used. And there is an easy way to get uh, rid of uh, console warnings. And basically you need to turn this rule off. So I'm going to do that and go into ESLintRCGS file and add this rule. And if you go back there, now you can see it's uh, the rule, uh, that rule has been taken care of. Basically uh, you can uh, just kind of see how this works and uh, line break to be line feed but found carriage return line feed so you can fix some of those problems and uh, it's very easy to uh, follow the stylistic guidelines and to fix things with ESLint. Uh, one thing you want to do is uh, if you want to be able to use it in uh, Visual Studio you want to have the ESLint extension installed after you have uh, the global ESLint done and uh, you can go to that website and read about that particular extension. So thank you for watching this short screencast and I'll put this screencast on my website under uh, ESLint, ESLint Visual Studio Code uh, on Mac. And thank you for watching this short screencast and have a great day.